We're going home today. And we're going to reveal our name before getting her ready for her bath. And getting ready to take her home. She will be getting ready. Okay, so let's get her in this bath. Okay, since the nurse took the baby um, to get her last bath, um, I'm going to get her car seat to go home ready. Um, so I, I went and purchased this because I couldn't find a Minnie Mouse one. And this is her Minnie Mouse car seat. Uh, it used to be my granddaughter's. And I have to take all this stuff out. I washed it once, but it's been sitting for a long time. So it's kind of yellowish. Uh, I and mean, I can't get that out too much. But it's okay. Um, I got I purchased this uh, blanket from Walmart for $18. It's very nice, plush, soft, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so we have that. And like again, I did the dual headrest with the uh, safety um, strap covers. So, so we got these. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be something very plush and nice. But it turned out to be not. <laughs> A lot of stuff I've been uh, dealing with lately just has not been turning out to be exactly what I thought it was going to be. So, I'm still going to leave the Minnie Mouse one in. Uh, I am gonna go through the whole shebang of putting them in the, um, the seat belts in and all that. I'm definitely gonna go through that with with these. Uh, make sure everything is everything. So, on that note, like I said, we this is a very it's, it's cute. It's called the Go. The um, go bug. I like the little go. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna save it. I like it. It's so cute. So I'll figure out a way to get it out. <laughs> so um, yeah. And then this is gonna be her her going home outfit. Uh, with her little hand mittens, her scratch mittens. And her little shoes, and she got a little purple headband. Can't wait to see her and her diaper. Um, I do have to get her some socks. Oh, uh, let's dig in the bag and see if we got socks. Oh yes, I bought socks. Thank God. Okay, and her little socks purple ones okay so on that note that's what we got we got her car seat we got her blanket and we also have her uh um snowsuit because it is going to be a snowstorm on her way out of the hospital so we hoping that we get home with her safe and everything um now we just are uh, gonna set this up, and while I set this up, we'll wait for the nurse to bring her back so we can start getting her dressed because you know they have to give her a bath, have to make sure her temperature and everything is good. The doctor has to discharge her. So on that note, we'll just be waiting around. So I, um, when she comes back, we'll start dressing her. Okay, so. The uh, nurse brought her back from her bath. Um, they gave us her her bassinet card, her hat, and her ID bracelet for keepsakes. So we're gonna get her dressed and ready. Um, we're waiting for the doctor to come in with the discharge papers. 
He already checked her out. She's in very good health. Um, and she's ready to go home. So, I'm not going to really deal with her hair too much today. I'm just trying to get my little girl home. Okay, so we're going to powder her with her little, that nice little powder brushes. We powder her. This is the velvet. The velvet powder. This is a, a, not much to make her white. It's enough to protect her because she's going to put on clothes for the very, very, very first time. So we want her protected, her paint to be protected. So, um, we have this belly band on for her, um, her um, umbilical cord hasn't uh, healed yet. So we have a couple of days for that. And we'll see how it's doing in a couple of days. Okay. Her hair is uh, longer than what I expected it to be. I didn't give her a haircut or anything. So... With that being said, yeah, so, this is she, say hello, okay, so, I'm gonna, um, start with the reason why I chose her name, I chose her name because the name that I chose is just so cute. Um, I was gonna go with Lavender. That was a name that, I, that's another name that I just adore. But it's so, uh, hard to find a middle name to go with it. And I, I, I went back and forth with Lavender because that, She's beautiful. She's a beautiful girl, little girl, and Lavender is a beautiful name for a beautiful little girl. Uh, like I said, that was my choice, my first choice. Then I picked the second choice, which was Natalie. I don't know why I love Natalie so much, but that's another beautiful name that I love. Um, Natalie, Isabella was another good name. It's just a lot of names that I love because uh, those are names from beautiful little girls. I mean, Isabella is, you, she has to look like her name. It has to match it. You cannot be named Isabella and don't look like an Isabella. So... That was one of the reasons why I chose the name that I chose because I was going through a dilemma really trying to figure out what to name my little girl. Now, mind you, I've never seen her in clothes, so this is my first time seeing her in clothing too. And I couldn't wait because she's been like completely stark naked for so long or wrapped in a blanket or and oh my goodness these are newborn clothing from I think this outfit is from either Walmart or Target one or the other but it's a beautiful beautiful little outfit and her other mommy, I picked, I got one, and then her other mommy, her, no, I think, I'm not really sure, I think, yeah, I got one, and then her other mommy had got the same one, so we had to take them back, 
we had to take one back because I think I had a preemie preemie size so that just shows you that we both have the same taste for our little baby but um yeah these are her little shoes they're so cute she going home in style in style her feet are fat. They're just, they're not big at all. They're not long. But they are fat. Oh, uh, those are the nurses and doctors in the background. We're just waiting for the doctor to come in and give us our discharge. So. And, and chatting. Chatting and uh, we got to sign the paper for the for her name. So that's when we're going to actually reveal her name. We're going to reveal it. But again, I, I said I struggled with the name because I really wanted her to have a really good, meaningful name. And it's not even that of a meaning. It's that this name is just, is, is, is literally, it fits her. Because when I thought about it, I said, yes, this is what I want for her. After I seen her start being um, built. You know, after I started seeing her being created. Um, it's, um, I started thinking about it more and more, and I started saying, oh, yes, that's the name, and if anyone, anybody want to know, her name is a herb, or it could also mean prophet, as a prophet, you know, um, And the middle, it, it goes with her middle name. So, on that note, you know, that's why I picked it. I could actually get a middle name to sound nice and rhythmic. <laughs> if, that, if, if that's even, like, understandable. It's, 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 It sounds um, good together. And that's what I had wanted. I wanted something that sounds good together. You know, that's exactly what I, I wanted for her. Oh, she's so cute. I'm in love with this baby. I am like so in love with her. I'm going to definitely put her scratch mittens on. And she has a, a bracelet. Now, the bracelet is a pl it's plastic and like, uh, yeah, they, I think it's all plastic. But it does have metal on it. So what I did was I just went through it. With, or with some clear nail polish so it won't she won't have a reaction to it um on her silicone but I, she won't be having it on all the time she will have it on when she has on her clothing and that's about it and just like her her uh pendants her charm ne necklaces and things of that nature and it looks so cute on her but yeah, I don't want her to have a reaction to it. Um, my low end, my low end silicone babies, they have reactions to their jewelry because I used to put jewelry on them, and they had they had reactions to them. So again, here, it's her knitting.
Okay, like I said, I'm not going to really too much mess with her hair today. I'm just going to put her little headbands on. I'm going to put a headband on. And... And just take her home. Because she needs to go home. It's home time. At this point... <laughs> We need to be at home. So. This is her in her little outfit with her little big bow. Her hair is messy, but we're going to fix that when we get home. We're definitely going to fix it when we get home. She's so floppy. She's a flop, flop. But again, this is the Johnny kit from um the Johnny Scope by Ina Volkbridge. Yep, that's her. Okay. So now we wait, we waiting for the doctor to come in. Okay, so we're ready to go. The doctor has given us our uh, discharge papers. We signed all the paperwork we needed to sign. So, yeah, we're ready to go home. See you at home, people. Hi, Mia. I'm home with the baby. The new baby. Say hi. Hi, Mia. Say hi. Look it. See, baby? Mia. Look at baby. Say hi, sister. Say hi, sister. That's your darling sister. That's your dog. Look, she wants to be on me. Well, we're home. And let's see how the first night goes. Oh. Okay. So we got to get her out of all of this stuff and everything. She was a little fussy on the way home. But she calmed down. I think the ride calmed her down. So we came home with this bag because our uh, diaper bag hasn't arrived yet. Uh, I ordered it along a couple of uh, days ago, so it'll be here soon. So we had to come home with this bag here. Um, I had to put this in because we really didn't need this. So I'm just going to put it on top of her boppy for right now. And... Oh, all the nurses, they loved her and thought she was so cute. So they fell in love with her. And one nurse gave her this little outfit here. And they signed it. It say, Welcome home, Sage Chanel. That's her name, Sage Chanel. And they get, they bought her this little other a little another Minnie Mouse little outfit. And this one says, "You're so stinking cute, so stinking beautiful." And they gave her this outfit. It's a little Minnie Mouse. She must gonna be a little Minnie Mouse baby. And, oh, my remotes are on the bed. I'm so sorry. Uh, I was just anticipating getting her home. Here's her birth certificate. Her name is Sage Chanel. She's a first edition. 
and her bassinet card. And they gave us, of course, her hat. They gave us a receiving blanket also. And her ID bracelet. So what we're going to do, I'm going to undress her and everything and put her down in the poppy. And let her get used to her new home. Um, this is a frame I made that I'm going to put her birth certificate in. I'm going to put her birth certificate inside of there. And this is her bed. Everyone saw her bed already. Um, I added lights inside of here. That's where her birth certificate is going to go. But the lights come on. And I've been playing them for a couple of uh, weeks. So it's like they don't bother at night. But yeah, that's her bed. I got it. These are all her headbands. I had, I just found a place for them. And I got her a little dresser. So this is her little velvet powder and her puff. She has her little Minnie Mouse, everything Minnie Mouse. She has her little girl balloon from her baby shower up. Um... Yeah, we don't have no, a lot of room for an actual nursery. So this is just her little tiny nursery. I took things out of my file cabinet and I, I put them, like all the stuff that I had in here, somewhere else. Um, this is all her things here. And then she has her... Um, her brother and her sister here. This is a boo-boo baby uh, that I'm trying to fix. I'm trying to fix her. Um, she's a cosplay doll. Um, very low in uh, silicone, full body silicone. She also has a drinking wet system. And this is Dash Alexander. I've had him for a very long time. He was my first silicone baby and he's an Ivita baby and he's not he's one of the few that is not a stolen scope so that's why I got him because he's not stolen he's actually created by the Chinese people I don't know about his body and his limbs I know his faces um but this is the outfit he's gonna put on that was his welcome home um outfit to his sister and then, like I said, this little one here, we're going to name her. She's going to be named Jasmine. If I could get her fixed up. I mean, I'm going to, if I don't, I might have a, like a little giveaway for a little unfortunate little girl who really wants one. And doesn't care if she's perfect or not. She'll be perfect in her eyes. And I might just give her away. I've only had her for a couple of weeks. And the paint wouldn't adhere to her. So I had to like thicken it and... She's just a boo-boo baby right now, but I'm going to try to fix her as much as I can. But this is going to be her welcoming home. I don't know if I'm going to root her or not, because we don't know if we're going to keep her. And then we have this. This was my granddaughter's, this bathtub. So I got it out of storage for Sage. And if I have a giveaway for this little baby, I am going to give away... The other tub that I have to go along with her and fill it up with some things. So, on that note, let's get Sage out of her, this car seat, and get her relaxed. She looks peaceful. She's sleeping very peaceful. She's sucking that bubble. And yeah, so I'm going to put her things up now. Her little outfits and stuff. Um... I already put most of her things up. So she's just gonna be lying. Let me pull my camera up a little. She's gonna just be lying here. 
you know, getting used to being home and not in the hospital, hearing the little sounds and the nurses talking. She's going to get used to a little quietness uh, because, you know, babies have to get used to quiet. If they come out, they hear all those sounds in the hospital. They're expecting to hear that. She's going to be expecting to hear that tonight. So what I might do is just uh, find some little sounds for her. Um, because her bassinet doesn't have a music box and I'm already, uh, I have her little wind up, the globe, the Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse globe, and that should be enough for her tonight. And if anything, we'll just get her another music box, something where that she'll feel comfortable with. But this is, I'm going to hang up her little outfit and... We'll have another video on her closet, on showing you guys her, her closet and all her clothing um, that she does have already, because she do have a lot of things right now, and um, yeah, so I'm going to leave her for a little while and let her get used to all the little sounds and no sounds and just of home, the smell, the smell of home, you know, the wagging of my dog's tail, because that is a noisy pup, that pup is noisy, yeah, and that's what we're going to do for the rest of the night, so everyone enjoy, um, enjoy the rest of the um, video. We're going to have, this was a coming home, name reveal, say Chanel, leave a comment, tell me how, how you like that name. I really had trouble naming her, but we came up with it and I love, I love it. So I hope you guys love it too. Um, and I hope it fits her because she, she looks like a sage. She's beautiful. Um, and then we're going to go right into first night home. How is it going to be for me? How is it going to be for her? Is she going to be fussy yet from time to time? So we're we, we going to go through that on this video. And we're going to just have fun with her tonight. All right? Thank you. Stay tuned for her nightly routine. Okay, so we're going to get her ready for, to, for um, bedtime. So we're going to give her her bottle. She's going to eat. Um, first, I'm going to change her into... Well, I'm going to feed her first. And um, I have to find I, bibs. I have bibs, and I don't know where I put them uh, <laughs> at this point. I'm thinking I might have to use her brother's, well, not brother's bibs for right now. But um, I'm just going to use this cloth here. Feed her real quick, change her clothing and everything up, and yeah. Okay. If anybody's wondering, I'm a stud dad, so you could say stud mom, stud dad. I'm I'm a stud. Mom, Dad, my baby is so beautiful. I love her. Okay. So, I'll be trying not to be in the videos, but, because it's not about me, it's about her. But, um, the video catches me. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind being in the videos. I just like it to be about her. Because this is her channel. So, our next video, our in, um, new intro, new outro will be on. And, yeah. Remember I told y'all what I feed my babies. I just say they need a special formula. Okay.
So while we keep while I'm feeding her, I'm gonna put on something. Something that sounds a little nice. Soothing, something soothing like baby music. <laughs> Let's see, baby, baby songs, yeah. Okay. That sounds cool. Okay, let's see if we can find some. Some that sounds nice. Lullabies. Let's do lullabies because it's bedtime. So we'll do some lullabies while we get her ready for bed. I'm not sure she's drinking at this point. Yep, she's drinking. I see her bubbles. Yeah, so my, my apartment is not so big. I live in a very small apartment. And I have her her bassinet in the corner of my room. And then I have my low-end silicones, uh, Dash Alexander. And uh, the other little baby, that Jasmine. Um, I have those two over there. Jasmine, it, I really want to finish her. Um, I, I think she might come out really pretty. But I do want to give her away to a little, a, a, a young lady, a little young girl who really wants one, like, so bad. And, and mom or dad can't afford it or she can't afford it, but she really wants one and I, I, that's what I'm thinking about when I made when when I made the mistake of trying to paint her and she just wouldn't uh, take to the paint. That was my first thought, like to give away to somebody who's gonna love her, regardless of how she looks. You know, they'll still be able to bathe her. They'll still she has a drinking wet system, so they'll still be able to feed her. I don't think she's that hungry. Cause she's not eating. Okay. Uh, her hair is like so soft. And again, this is human hair. This is not mohair. It's human hair. She didn't waste anything. Her mouth is not soaked, but yeah, it's wet in there. So what I do, um, I put a, a either the washcloth inside to soak up whatever excess is in there. That's what I do, and I turn it on her like that so that she. That it all can leak out onto the washcloth. And now we, we can undress her. She will wear this outfit uh, numerous times. You, you guys might see her with this outfit. Because it is adorable. I really appreciate her in this outfit. It's beautiful. It was a beautiful uh, coming home outfit also. Look at those feet. <laughs> This is going to be her night. She had a bath in the hospital. So we're not going to put her in no water. Um, we're not going to put her in no water tonight. We'll wait a couple of weeks to put her in water again. I massage, I massage her, her hair like this. Because I just don't want it to get all tangled up. This is a very, very, very uh, soft human hair. I 
I'm losing track of time. Oh, it's 5.37. Ugh. So, so, I have to get myself together and eat dinner and get myself together for work. Um. Okay. Get myself together for work. So, my house is like really, really hot. The, the house is really, really warm. So, I got this, her warm pajama. This is so warm that I'm not going to put a onesie on underneath her. Because I don't want her sweating inside her bassinet. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just gonna undress her. I'm gonna um she already has a little cream on her her uh belly button area from the hospital, so I don't think I need to put any of that on. Um I'll give her some time to use the bathroom. That's thinking boopy booky. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my god. This reminds me of when my grandkids come home, when I brought my children home. She's the same, same length as my son was when he was born. All my children was, I had a, I think a 20 inch, 19 inch, and 19 and a half, and then I had an 18, 18 and a half inch. She's still the shortest one. Very short young lady. I don't like the discoloration, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Cause she looks, she looks good. She, she's a. Okay, so she's good. She's not wet just yet. She's a little wet, but not too wet. So maybe her next feeding. She'll need to be changed. Or oh, when she wants to be changed. Cause she'll I'm sure she'll let me know with the crying and tonight. If she even cries. She didn't cry much in the hospital, so but then again, all she we did was hold her in the hospital. So. Uh she didn't have time to cry. But tonight she won't be getting held because I have a lot of things to do. I gotta get myself together for work tomorrow. So she might be crying tonight. Or she might want to be held. Okay. So. Sorry. Sorry you guys can't really see what's going on. I'll be trying to handle her, uh, not so roughly, because I'm, I'm a little rough. And she's like that super soft silicone that I paid a hun an extra hundred dollars for. And I could have got an Echo 20, because Echo Flex 20 is, I don't feel like, I don't think it's that much of a difference. But they say it's a, it is, so. I paid the extra hundred dollars. They said it's supposed to be easier for us to pose them. I don't see it. But then again, how would I know? This is my first high-end baby anyway. So I can't say yay or nay. Okay, I'm gonna get her some scratch mittens. Look how this pajama fits her. She fits newborn clothes so well. So well. I am going to look for her a bib and some scratch mittens. <sighs> yep. She's going to get her some, a bib and some scratch mittens out for her. Okay. Now shall we turn 
we're gonna put right here. So I'm gonna look for some. When I tell you she has a lot of Minnie Mouse, I am not exa over exaggerating. Okay, I found her some scratch mittens, some pink ones, and I found her a bib. Now, I need to find her a hat. To go to sleep in. Sorry, I keep walking past the camera like that. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a hat for her at least. Another pink hat. Okay. All right. Sorry again. Sorry again for cutting from that camera like that. So. I'm going to put this underneath her to make her sit up a little bit. reason why I'm gonna keep hats on her because I don't want her hair to start rubbing out. As with silicone babies, I know with, with reborns, we glue their hair down. Silicone babies is really hard to glue their hair in. I know I've, I've heard people done it, but I've, I've never seen it done, so I won't attempt to do it. <laughs> Come on, mama. Put your mittens on, your scratch mitts. Yep, there she go. Okay. All right, let's put your bib on because we just want, we just need a bib on. Okay. So, there she go. And we're going to have her. She's going to be here for a while. I'm going to put her in a bed in a little bit. And um, then I'm going to get myself together for tomorrow. I'm going to switch out her, her sucker. Um, this is the, the, um, pacifier holder that I made for her. It's with hearts. So, I just made it with a little barrette clip on it. Like, I just clip it on to her, wherever she is. I clip it like that. Um...
me personally, I take a little uh, lubrication uh, jelly and I put it on, on the, the, the sucker. Um, that helps with um, protecting your baby's lips, the paint on the lips and everything. It, it truly helps. Um, yeah, I'll powder it sometime, but you see how easy it goes in. It's made for silicone, so it won't harm her. And, um, yep. Yeah. So...